615 and I am back with another edition of Feed Your Addiction. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so very much for joining. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so very much for coming back. I do hope that if you're not subscribed to the channel that you will consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell alert so that you do not miss any of my future live streams or any of my future posts. Um, tonight is actually going to be a really quick live because today is National Cinema Day and I have reservations for go see a movie this evening. So um, National Cinema Day, um, all of the movie theaters across the country, Regal, AMC, all of the others, they're doing $4 movie tickets and I am going to go check out Meg 2 and then try to get the late, late showing of the new Mission Impossible movie. So if you have not checked that out, then um, if you're a moviegoer, today is a great time to go. It is just today, um, National Cinema Day. All of the movie tickets are $4. So um, my sister has already caught her first movie for the day. She is getting ready to go back for her second one. I am catching my first one after this live end, so I'm going to be jetting out and then trying to get um, a late spot for Mission Impossible. So this one's going to be quick. If you would, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Um, send a text message out. Share the link for someone else that you don't see in the live chat. So um, today, um, the first thing I want to do is to say thank you for all of the text messages, the thoughts, the prayers um, last week as my family and I uh, remembered my mother. Um, it, last week was the one year passing. I don't know if you call that an anniversary or it's a death date. It's, you know, it's, I don't know what you call it, but um, we were dealing with that last week and I'm so glad that I took uh, the majority of last week off because the closer the date got, the more in my feelings I was. Um, so I'm glad that I had that time to take away from corporate America so that I still have a job to go back to. Um, so one of the things that I talked about uh, week before last was that I wanted to do a comparison between, let me turn the ringer off. I wanted to do a comparison between Ambler and the Pebble Grain Zip camera style crossbody. So I have those and then I've got two reveals and then I'm going to get out of here. Okay, so the first is just a reminder of what, let me get in here so that I can get the, um, the links in here. Perfect. Okay. So the first is the camera body, uh, crossbody. It is on sale right now on ILD. It's either $85 or $89. I was rushing. I'm trying to get, um, get ready to get out of here. And mine is in the color Oyster. I have been um, trying to decide between, I think there's a, caramel or caramel color and then there's also a color sand and then they have a Caribbean blue. Caribbean blue because it will be perfect with all of those Montego and Siesta print items that many of us purchased several years ago. Um, the other is because that blue, that Tiffany blue type color is really trending now and who knows how long that color will be available. So I'm thinking about picking that one up. But my sister actually picked up the McGraw crossbody from Tory Burch, which is very similar in style. But hers is in the color, I think it is Moose. So it's a very tan neutral color, which I would say is a, a blend between oyster and natural because it's not as light as this, but not as dark as the caramel or caramel color. 
This one I showed uh, uh, two weeks ago in the lab. It holds a whole lot more than I expected, especially if you're using like a card case or a deluxe mo, um, or if you're just slipping card, keys, phone, put your mask back on, COVID cases are, are back on the rise. Um, but you have space for all of those essentials. But it made me think about Ambler, another little tabletop cutie. And I know I've talked about Ambler a couple different times. I probably should have pulled out the fog one to um, compare. Now I can't see anything. All right, but here, here are the two bags. This is the bag that if you recall when I was talking about Dooney's um, holiday co like online commercials and the fact that I wish that they had featured more bag styles, more after five, um, etc. This is one of those bags that I feel like they should have featured. But I wanted to compare the two because while this one, um, it, well, this one is, to me, it's an upgrade to Sawyer. Sawyer is kind of this style, but more with this silhouette, if that makes any sense. All right, so let's start with the sizes here. So you can tell that the pebble crossbody, the camera bag is definitely taller and it is a smidgen longer than Ambler. But the depth of these bags is about the same, if not identical. Let me line them up straight here. There we go. Uh, yeah. I would say that they are, they are the same because camera crossbody of course has this strip under the bottom and it bellows out just a little bit here at the side which is going to give you a little bit more space but that means that the base without it they're about the same both um are able to be converted to short shoulder bags or cross body both straps are removable but this one is giving far more casual vibes not to mention, this one can give you toiletry, dock kit, carry vibes. It can also be a clutch under the arm, but it doesn't have a top handle like Amblin. You have a front slip and a back slip on Ambler. You only get the front zipper pocket on the camera crossbody. So here we go again, much more dainty, definitely boxy, more rounded, definitely, um, you know, the, the corners to me on the crossbody are more prominent. Both have the same style logo plate on the front, but the interior is what really sets these apart. While you may get a little bit more real estate inside of the camera crossbody, right? Because it's just a nice wide open space with a modified Dooney setup. It's not the SDS, but it does have a slip and an interior zip. And then there is also a shortened nylon key keeper then you have plenty of floor space or base depth there in the bottom. Where Ambler, I think, maybe may have some pluses is that there is a whole lot more that comes with this bag. So first off, it is double compartments, front and back zipper. Remember, they also have a front and back slip pocket. It comes with an accessory piece. So you don't have to worry about finding or, you know, figuring out what you're going to use. It comes with a card case that is also um, 
embossed with the foil Dooney logo. Nylon Key Keeper that is attached. But you also have so much organization. You get those silica packets out. You have a slip, a zip, open space. You have built-in, additional built-in card slots and a place for you to stick anything else. That pocket is not as slim as some of the others that you may start out with. It has some give. So if you had a smaller phone, which I don't have, it would easily fit in there. My phone would have to fit just in the body of the bag. That is the front side of the bag. But it doesn't stop there. All right, so on the back zipper, and you don't have to worry about anything falling out because it does have a little bit of space here on the bottom, so it's not going to just flip out. But on the back side of the bag, you get a zipper pocket that is in the back panel of the bag. You get a slip. You have more space, so if you are a double phone carrier like I am, you have a second spot to either stick a phone or to put both phones in one area, and then you'd have the rest of the space for someplace else. More card slots and another slip. It has so much organization, comes with a dust bag, and did I say again that it comes with its own accessory piece? It's pretty amazing. And I think that there is a place for both. This is a great bag. I will say if you have, if your spouse or significant other or even your children are constantly passing you their stuff when you leave the house, you can keep one side of this bag for you and the other side for them. It's going to be a little um, dressier, but it, it's going to have a little bit slimmer profile from a crossbody standpoint um, as well. So if you're looking for something that maybe isn't going to look as pronounced on your hip or from a side profile, it's definitely going to be ambler. If that doesn't matter to you, um, if when you leave the house, you're responsible for keeping up with your own stuff. You don't carry other people's stuff. Then either one of these bags will work for you. If you need more outside storage or more organization, again, Ambler. I'm glad that I have both of these um, because there's definitely a place for each one. I don't see this one being like, a date night bag unless it's super casual but this one definitely would work so these two I wanted to come back do the comparison um, I wish I had my sister's McGraw because that would have given you a third option and then of course something outside of the brand but I at least wanted to uh, share these two because I have them both in my collection and I'm actually either gonna get ready to move into this one to run to the movies or I'm going to move into Ellie. And speaking of Ellie, last week on ILD, the F Crew and the Red Ellie, Quarantine Ellie, were both included in the ILD promotion. And it was a little tough there for a minute to try to get both bags to show in stock in my cart, but magically I was finally able to get them both. So I'm really excited about that. Um, let me just get all of this copied. I ran out before the live 
and that's why everything's not in the in the box. Okay, so speaking of boxes, speaking of boxes, I have a box here, and I was fine. I've had both Ellie's in my cart. I was super excited. And then it said that one of them was out of stock. I knew that it was the red. It was not the red. It was the ecru. But what I didn't understand is that it was still showing available on Dooney.com that it was available. So I reset my card, took everything out, and look. I was able to get my hands on both. So now I have three of the Ellie bags. I have the one that hubby, Peter, Dooney, uh, gave um, as a, a part of the influencer slash ambassador program. And now I have the other, have two more colors. So Ellie is a updated, smaller version of the classic Juni Florentine saddle bag. This Ecru is year round. It is not a start quite. It has just a little bit of vanilla or a little tinge of gray just to keep it from being stark white white box so that you can see the comparison it is definitely a warmer color and this one you will be able to use year round i have already shared ellie with you before so if you're interested in seeing more of the details of this bag um the it's in it's a it's a live stream so you can watch the replay but this bag. Let's see here. So perfect for shoulder. It is going to be perfect in the theater tonight so that I can keep it close. But it also will adjust. Let me get this off. Because these are not going anywhere. So, the easy, easy adjustment. And I can have it sit perfectly right at my hip. Now, Ecru, it's one of those colors I'll just warn you about as the seasons change. You are wearing new denim because there is the potential for color transfer. So just keep that in mind with any of your light colored bags, whether they're Florentine or otherwise, as you transition into maybe more or newer denim as the seasons change. So we've got Ellie in Ecru. Love, love, love this outside back pocket. And to be honest, I'm probably going to use the one tonight that Peter gave because it's gonna go a little bit better with the colors that I have on. Um, so this is the Ecru color. The uh, Florentine is in great condition. Look at that. Oh, it's just rich, smooth, gorgeous. The contrast of the golden rod stitching against the Ecru leather. Luggage tag, which is detachable, can be used elsewhere. You've got the debossing or embossing here on the front. You've got the filigree stamp on the back, which lets you know that is the Italian leather classic Dooney here on the back. Gold tone hardware, adjustable strap. And then if the outside back pocket isn't enough to win you over there is even more organization 
under the flap. So you still have two more pockets plus your SBS in the interior. So glad. In Florentine deals and they start with a one versus any other number, they definitely catch my attention. So $188.30 is the, prom um, the sale price that included the promo for these. And then, let me put this one back down here. And this, let's see, this was seven of 50 is what I got. It's uh, still on the site now, but the promo that's currently running is more for back to school. So if you've been looking at uh, cross bodies, backpacks, um, maybe some smaller shoulder bags, now is the time to scoop those up. I did, did I do a weekly cart? I did a weekly cart last week, but I don't think I've done uh, a video to highlight what's in my cart for the school promo. And then for the red Ellie, I got 43 of 50. So she was really almost out of my reach. 43, here you go. 43 of 50. And there we have the Florentine Ellie bag there. I'm excited about this one. Uh, the way this one is packaged, it might be somebody's return. Or maybe, I don't know. It looks like it might be pack, repackaged. But whomever purchased it didn't strip all of the plastic and stuff off of it. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Oh, <laughs> hello, Ellie. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at that red Florentine. Can I scratch her? Luggage tag. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It does look like maybe. Is there a difference in the red shades? This one could definitely have some color transfer. If you're wearing lighter colors, you may find that the bag actually transfers onto your clothes so just be mindful of that looks like there's a spot here i don't know did somebody put their stuff in there and misshape it but it looks like it's starting to patina like it's shiny in here on this side and then i don't know it looks a little bit more matte on this side but that's under the bottom 188.30, I'm gonna let it ride because it's red and it's Florentine. And I already know that this bag will work because right after I got my bag from uh, Peter, I actually moved in it and carried it. So I know that it will work. I just wanna see what it, let's see here. I may be in the red. Y'all know red to me goes with everything. Can I get this off? Okay. So. Now, I'll probably use um, either my Deluxe Mo or I have a, a red coach card case or I have the Thacker or Thatcher one that I showed uh, two weeks ago that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack. So that would actually work in here 
and it would actually give me a little bit more real estate than using a full-size wallet. So let's see. Let's get this one adjusted for crossbody. Am I the only person? Oh, that's not enough. It's sitting too high. Am I the only person that has like a designated side of their body that they like, they prefer their cross bodies on. I am right-handed and I prefer my bags on my right shoulder. I prefer my cross body left to right. This just feels backwards and odd to me. It will work, but again, it's not my dominant side this just feels it just feels awkward to me i prefer right side dominant hand etc uh, and it looks like i'm not the only one but i see a lot of you were saying left side so you have your bags hanging right to left and i am a left to right i want it on the right side of my body now one of the things that I can't see myself trying, but that could be possible with Ellie is to actually completely remove the strap or to tuck the strap down in the bottom and then just use her as a clutch. Wouldn't necessarily want to do it with the casual strap, the web strap just hanging, but that is definitely an option if you can, you know, if you've got the, the strength and the um, will <laughs> to remove, you absolutely can. But getting these little buttons off and on are pretty difficult. And of course, you'd still have the D-rings hanging here on the side because they don't, they won't flip in. So you'd be able to still see the hardware, but that is an option for this one, for Ellie, it's an option as well, of course, for the camera crossbody, you can detach. This also would work as a great toiletry kit, similar to the way that I use the East, West, and the North, South, Small Janine crossbody. This is another one of those backs that you could use as like a dock or toiletry kit for travel with your little TSA approved size um, toiletries in here. So if you're thinking about gift giving, this would be something that inside the Christmas card, you can say, hey, it's the, you know, the multifunction gift, a clutch, shoulder bag, crossbody, toiletry, you know, the list goes on. So it would be one that someone could get a ton of use out of. And on that note, that's it, because I have about 26 minutes to get to the movie theater. So, um, thank you so very much for watching. Again, thank you for all of your text messages and um, your comments from two weeks ago. Um, as I shared that I wasn't sure if I was going to be here last weekend, um, I'm glad that I made uh, that declaration beforehand, because... It was, it was um, touch and go. We have laughed, we have cried, we have gone through the gamut of um, emotions. Um, so that's where we are. But what I do want to share, because I'm like the cool aunt and the proud aunt, is that my nephew started welding school. So you know how these kids are today. So I just ask that you um, join my family and not only celebrating Corey starting this journey, um, but also prayerfully he will finish. Um, so he is, he is in welding school and he seems to be all in. He is loving it. Um, he has been early to classes. <laughs> I don't know that that child has been early for anything other than picking his birth date. <laughs> So that's all a good sign. So um, that's what that's what my family has going on. So I am actually um, gonna be going to spend some time uh, with him, celebrating, you know, his return back to uh, the world of school, 
preparing for uh, life after we cut yet another umbilical cord from him. Uh, and then also celebrating what will soon be his 20th birthday. It's hard. It's, it's hard to believe because I still remember the day my sister told me that I was going to be an aunt. Um, and it, it feels like it was just yesterday. So um, thank you all so very much. I've got affiliate links in the chat. As soon as this video is done and I get to the movie theater, I will post those um, as well down in the information box. For those of you that have been so kind and so generous to utilize the affiliate links, I do appreciate it very much um, because welding school is not cheap. <laughs> uh, I hope you all have an amazing week. For those that are in the path of the storm, rain, hurricane, all of the residuals of that, um, please be safe and uh, make wise decisions. For those of you that are um, aware, the um, zombie apocalypse case numbers are ticking back up. So please make sure that you are social distancing, washing your hands, using your hand sanitizer when you are away. Hand sanitizer for when you're away from home or can't wash your hands. And then when you can, it's better to wash your hands for a full 20 seconds with soap, warm water vigorously than it is hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer when you can't wash, when you can wash. And definitely, I know that it is hot as Hades, but when you can, put your mask back on because cases are ticking back up. And on that note, I am out of here. Thank you so very much for joining. You all have an amazing week. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.